All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at prime factorization. Uh, so for starters, what is prime factorization? We have factorization, which means that we are going to show it as multiplication. So show as multiplication. And as you probably guessed, the prime part means that those things that are being multiplied are all prime. So prime numbers, numbers that are only divisible by the number 1 and the number itself. So numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and this list goes on. But these are probably the ones that we'll be using the most. So to find the prime factorization of a number, the method that we're going to use is called the tree method. Now, there are other methods for finding prime factors. However, the tree method probably is the most, uh, most common, and it's mostly just organization anyway. Most of the methods are doing really the same thing. So let's see how the tree method works. So for the tree method, let's take a number like 18, and we want to divide 18 down into two multiples that give us 18. So two numbers that when multiplied give us 18. And so I'm thinking of the numbers here 2 and 9. When you multiply 2 and 9 you get the number 18. And as you can see I've already branched off from 18 to list these two numbers. Now if one of those numbers is a prime number like 2 then that part of the tree is done. Now, the other number, 9, is not a prime number, so we need to branch it out as well, and we can show it as 3 times 3. And now, 3 is a prime number, so I can circle both of those. So, we have just shown that 18 can be written as 2 times 3 times 3. If you multiply those out, you will get 18 and each one of those is a prime number. And you might be thinking, well, what if I started it off differently? Because whenever you started off with the 18, instead of going with 2 and 9, you thought of two different numbers, like maybe 3 and 6 that multiply to give you 18. So let's take it that way. And we see that 3 is a prime number, so that one's done. But for the 6, I can break that down into 2 times 3. And again, 2 is a prime number, it's done. 3 is a prime number, it's done. So again, I have 1, 2, and 2, 3's. So if I list it out for multiplication, just putting it in order from least to greatest, which you don't have to, but uh, it usually looks better when we put it in that order, we see that it's the same thing. Even though we started off in a slightly different way. Uh, one last example, let's take a look at the number 60. And there are several ways that we could start here to branch it out into two numbers that multiply to give us 60. But since it's an even number, sometimes it's easiest just to pick 2. Uh, and 2 times 30 in this case gives us 60. 2 is a prime number. Now 30 is still an even number number so I can write it again as 2 times something in this case 15 and again 2 is a prime number uh, 15 is 3 times 5 and both 3 and 5 are prime so we've taken it all the way down until we have nothing but prime numbers and if we list those out in order it is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 5. That is the prime factorization of the number 60. So let's take a look at one of our problems here. And for this one, we are asked to find the prime factorization of 40. So for 40, I want to start with it at the top of my tree for the tree method. And I'm going to split it into two factors. And this time let's 
Let's just do a little bit different. Let's take 4 and 10. Those two numbers multiplied give me 40. However, neither one of those are prime numbers, so both of them we need to take further. Uh, 4 we can write as 2 times 2, which both of those are prime numbers, and 10 we can take as 2 times 5. And again, both of those are prime numbers. So we've taken all of the branches all the way down to only prime numbers. We can list 40 as prime factors being 2 times 2 times 2, because we had 3 of them, and then we had that one 5 as well. 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, and that is the prime factorization of 40.